Hello and welcome to Intro to My Lab. In, in this next few videos, I'll be covering enough material to help you learn about one semester worth of My Lab coding. Um, but before we jump into actual My Lab coding, there are a few questions that we should probably answer. Um, for instance, what is My Lab? Um, think of My Lab as a super calculator. Um, we have our scientific calculators and we have our graphing calculators. Now we have super calculators like MATLAB, Maple, and Mathematica. Um, Maple is mainly used, uh, or, or, or as far as I've heard, um, is used in Calc 1, Calc 2, Calc 3, and Calc 4 to, to graph things and see what they look like in 3D, find different points on the graph and do things of that sort. Mathematica I've used in um, my physics um, lab courses to code um, things related to mechanics um, and ENM and things of that sort. Then you have MATLAB which deals with matrices. MATLAB is really helpful for all engineers um, so it's, it's you should definitely learn it and remember it. Um, so moving on to the next question, why should you learn it? If you're watching this video, you're probably taking um, a MATLAB course in your college. Um, and so a good reason to learn it would be to do well in your class. Um, if you're an engineer, in order to succeed in your other engineering courses, you should probably learn and remember MATLAB because it's something that you will you see you you're going to use over and over um, for instance if you're a chemical engineer you'll you'll end up using it in your first semester and second semester engineering course which are probably in short of chemical engineering 1 and 2 um, MATLAB also has industrial applications there are engi people who are already engineers like biomedical engineers, electrical, um, mechanical, they all use MATLAB for different things. Um, I think the only type of engineer that does not use um, MATLAB is probably computer engineer because um, they ha they have their own types of um, coding languages that they probably use. Different types, they can use like more complex languages to do more complex things. Um, but it also looks good on your resume when you apply for a job. Um, I've heard that a lot. Of, there are people out there who get who get a job just for knowing how to code in MATLAB. So it's always a plus. It's 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 good to learn new things, right? Um, so what do you need to get started with MATLAB? Um, you should first of all download a MATLAB application. Um, they can find online. It's about fifty to sixty dollars, if I remember correctly, for four years um, for students. So I think it's worth uh, investing that kind of money in it. Um, get a textbook. You can either buy this textbook online. I'll leave a link in the description, um, or you could just try to find a PDF on PDF version of it online, which also works. Um, and it's it's free that way so um, so why am I making these videos it's because I have nothing better to do this summer so I thought I would help you learn and succeed in your math lab course thank you see you next time